Hey everyone, Wayne here. Today we're going to do a uh, playthrough of Turn 1 of Return to the Rock, Corridor 1945, designed by Mike Romanella and published by Revolution Games. Um, first off, I do want to thank Revolution Games for providing me a copy of this game. Um, second, I would like to thank everyone who has subscribed recently, who's commented, and the people who donated to the channel. Um, although I do occasionally get a game um, from a publisher, often many, 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 many of my games are games I have to purchase, so I sure appreciate any support you guys give me. So, alright, um, I have done a unbagging video for this game. I have done a tutorial video. Now let's go ahead and just play through turn one. Um, it is the longest turn of the game, so it'll take a little while, but hopefully I'm familiar enough with the rules that we can kind of get through it quick, and you can really see how the game unfolds from the beginning. So, I have all the setup done anyway. Um, island starts off with just the Japanese pillboxes on it. Other than that, the American forces are ready for the seaborne invasion, airborne invasion, landing boxes, and then the rest of the Japanese units are over in the Japanese hidden units box. So, it starts off, turn one, February 16th, 1945. It's the daytime, and the United States gets the first impulse. Um, the first impulse, they have to activate the airborne invasion box, and wave one will land. Um, it's kind of an exception to the rules. Traditionally, when you do an invasion, you activate a box, you only do one unit at a time. Um, on the first turn, you actually do all seven of these units. You have to roll for each one, but all seven can land on the first impulse. So let's go ahead and work on that. Um, let me get my uh, a little closer there. Hopefully it doesn't interfere with the impulse marker too much. There we go. All right, um, let's go ahead and do that. So United States, first impulse. Go ahead and move our impulse marker down. And they're gonna start landing the uh, these airborne units here. So go ahead and start with the first one. We have our airborne drop table um, handily right on the map here. So we go ahead and start rolling on that, 1D6. And on the first turn, um, the US gets a plus one. So even though if you look here, it's one to, one to six and then a one unit is eliminated uh, because the United States gets a plus one, there's no chance of having it eliminated on the first turn anyway, or excuse me, the first impulse was what I meant to say, first impulse. Gotta get the terminology right. All right, roll five, so unit moves area 10, remains fresh. So we get to go ahead and put them on top side, and that's where we're landing. This is where we're landing, um, and historically, that's you know that's where they landed, on top side. The reason you get that plus one is because historically, the Japanese did not expect an aerial landing at all, um, so they were initially only prepared for a beach defense. So, all right, so go ahead, first unit lands, second unit, roll on, two plus one, that's a three, so he lands fresh as well. Good for us so far. I'll just kind of go through and roll for each one. Four plus one is five. Lands fresh. Uh, we would have to roll a one for him to land spent. So every other unit, uh, so if we roll, as long as we roll at least a two, we're going to land and be fresh. And finally, this engineer unit. All right. They've all landed um, successfully in the sense that they remain fresh. So, perfect, good for us. All right, that was the first impulse. Let's go ahead and see if we maintain momentum. A three, so if we had rolled a one, we would lose momentum and go to the Japanese, but we roll a three, so we maintain it. Go ahead and move the impulse marker down. Let's see here, should we start landing on the beach, or should we go ahead and move here? Let's go ahead and I think we'll move here. So, what I'm gonna do is, yeah, definitely. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to Activate the top side area uh, for an assault impulse. I'm gonna go ahead and start moving. Let's see, this unit's gonna move here. Also, just so I don't forget, we did land on top side and we're the only ones in there, so it's not contested. We do take control, so we get we get control of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a control marker there. Um, top side barracks, we just moved in there, so not only do we gain control of it, because there's no Japanese units, so it's not contested, just like top side. Um, but it's worth one victory point, so we're going to go ahead and move our victory point marker here to, to one. All right, um, let's see here. So, there with one guy, and he is, there's no other units there. I think he's gonna, just going to stay right there. Let's see. Um, yeah, let's do that. Um, let's go ahead and move another infantry up with him, and move a machine gun up with him. Let's go ahead and move infantry here to Cheney, engineer unit over to Cheney. 
Let's move this artillery up to top side barracks, I should say top side barracks, and move this artillery over here. So, mm. yep. Now we have our, you know, each one of these units has four movement factors. Technically, to move, say here, was only one movement factor. It's a vacant area, uh, and it's not adjacent to an enemy machine gun or anything like that. But we can't move into the hospital then because there is a um, fresh enemy unit, this pillbox here. Um, although, ooh, I don't know what I could have done. Well, it's too late now. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go back and cheat or anything like that. But just thinking about my strategy, I could have maybe bombarded him here, um, and then if I had at least reduced him to spent, I could have went ahead and moved all the way up by top of barracks and then into the hospital. But I didn't think of that. Oh well, that's all right. Hey, that's what you get playing the game, right? So now our guys were finished moving, so we go ahead and flip them from fresh to spent. That's all of our units here. And I really should have done that. That's a good idea, but I thought of it after the fact. So, all right. Um, okay, so that was the second impulse. Let's go ahead and see if we maintain momentum. So, roll one or two, we lose it. Oh no, we did lose it. So, Japanese they gain momentum. Um, with their first impulse, they're definitely going to activate the Japanese Hidden Units box. They're going to go ahead and take this machine gun. Well, actually, they're going to take the infantry unit here and place him at the hospital. So, all right, let's see if they maintain momentum here. I have the green dice for the Americans, red dice for the Japanese. Six, so he does maintain momentum. All right, so with the second impulse... Japanese are going to go ahead, and they know that we are also going to land on the beach. So they're going to go ahead and activate the Japanese hidden units, and they're going to place this machine gun over here on this uh, Malinta Hill here. So that way it had oversees the black beach where the Americans will be landing. All right, see if they maintain the momentum. A three, they do. They're going to go ahead and activate the Japanese hidden units box. And that's pretty much what they're going to be doing the first turn, is doing a whole lot of activating that box, because... You can see, I mean, that's all their units. Just like the Americans, we have ours, you know, the airborne invasion box and the seaborne invasion box. They're not on the map yet. They have to do the same thing. They have to start placing their units. They only start with the pillboxes placed. All right, I'm gonna activate, like I said, Japanese hidden units. I'm gonna put this um, infantry here in this uh, Monja, because they expect, looks like the Americans are headed that way. Go ahead and see if roll, see if they maintain momentum. Five, they do so with the fourth impulse they're going to activate hidden unit box place uh infantry here in cheney ravine they got a guard from that one too the japanese obviously understand they know where you know the victory point places are in red um so just thinking of as a japanese player how you would play it defensive right very defensive here uh, you're not going to beat the americans in the sense of you know destroying them but holding them back slowing them down so that we can keep them from getting those victory points and win that way so, all right, see if maintain momentum. But one, they do not, so they lose momentum. So the Americans get it. Um, with the first impulse, let's go ahead. Take our first impulse. Um, looking around, I really should have done that. That would have been a great idea. Oh well, future, future. So, hey, my play gives you guys strategy tips for the future when you guys pick up this game, so. All right, let's go ahead and start act getting some guys on the beach. Um, I do want to make sure that the beach is maybe a little easier to land on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to target that machine gun here. Um, I'm going to use my naval bombardment. I'm going to target Malinta Hill. I'm actually going to target oh, should I do the machine gun or the pillbox. You know what? Let's go ahead and just target the machine gun just to that way I don't get that negative modifier. So I'm going to go ahead and target the machine gun. Um, so I guess. Technically, what I'm doing is with my first impulse, I'm doing a bombardment uh, impulse. Using a naval bombardment, I'm gonna target machine gun here. Now I have an eight, and they use the train effect modifier, which is a plus four there, because that is, you know, uh, a hill, quote unquote hill, so more heavily defended area um, terrain wise. So eight versus four. Go ahead and roll it up. All right, so I got a 14 total. They got a 13. Oh, man. Bummer. I mean, it's good good for me there was a result, but all it is is the machine gun is going to be flipped over to, to spent. It's all right. It's all right. It could be worse. All right. Let's go ahead and 
see if we maintain momentum here. Oh, it's barely, but we do, we do. All right, so Americans have momentum. They're gonna go ahead and start landing on Black Beach. Um, so you're gonna activate the Seaborne Invasion Box with an Assault uh, Impulse. Go ahead and roll here. Um, fortunately, we, I know we have a table right here on the map. We don't have that minus one for the machine guns, so we get to avoid the minus one. So it's just straight roll. Let's go ahead and start landing. Um, let's see here. Um, let's go ahead and land. Try to land the American tank right away. Five. So he lands and remains fresh. Perfect. Uh, let's see if we uh, keep momentum. We do. All right. So with our third impulse, we will activate the Seaborne Invasion box um, with an assault impulse. Try to land this infantry. A five. So he stays. For, he does land and he remains fresh. Perfect. Um, let's go ahead and roll for see if we can get momentum. So we do not. We lose it with two. Um, so we're up here. So unfortunately for us, but fortunate for the Japanese. So now they will go looking around here. Obviously they see what's coming. They understand that you know Americans are landing here. So they're going to continue to build up their defenses. So with that first Japanese impulse, they're going to go ahead and move. We're going to activate the Japanese hidden units box. We're going to go ahead and move this infantry and place him. Well, I want to make sure to protect that Malinta Hill because it is worth three victory points as well. So I'm going to place infantry over there. I'm going to roll to see if they maintain their impulse. They do not. Roll the one. So it does revert. And that's that's one of those things where I kind of expected it. Usually expected to make it up here before the die roll, but every now and then that happens. So they lose it right away. All right, so the Americans sitting kind of pretty right now. Um, I think the beach is secured for the moment. Let's go ahead. Actually, actually, wait a second. I don't know what we can do here. Ah, I see a uh, opportunity, I think. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna activate um, Black Beach um, for an assault impulse, which by the way, reminds me, Let's put our uh, little control marker there, since the Americans do have control. We're going to activate Black Beach for uh, Im Impulse. What we're going to do is we're going to move the tank unit here. Let's go ahead and move them over to Ramsey Ravine, which we gain control of. Then we're going to go ahead, so that's one uh, movement factor because it's a vacant area. I guess four, so then we'll move to the middle side. That's two. Gain control of it. You may be wondering why I didn't you just move from Black Beach to the middle side. I can't because if you look at the black um, boundary, that's a restricted boundary and the tanks, you know, the mobile unit tank and the mobile artillery here can't can't go there, can't go across the that boundary. So, um, and then with our, let's see, we went one, two, and go ahead with our third. We're gonna go ahead and move into the power plant. We go ahead and place a marker. We take control of the power plant, which is worth one victory point. So let's go ahead and move the victory points up to two. All right, not too shabby. We're already doing better than we did on uh, my last game I played. I only got one victory point the whole first turn in my last game. Should have had even more. Should have had the hospital, but again, that's just a little strategy mistake there. Live and learn. That's why you play, right? So, oh, let's go ahead and I think, yeah, he'll probably remain there. This infantry, do I move him to or do I just keep him here? Um, let's go ahead and, oops, I'm sorry, that was the first impulse. Um, so I'm going to move him to the middle side. Yeah, because what I want to do is I want to maintain, um, if you have a, if you control areas linked in between the beach and top side, you actually get, um, you get a first, on the first turn, you get a victory point bonus for that. So I want to go ahead and try to secure that. So I'm going to move here. So, all right, we're going to go ahead and flip our guys over from fresh to spent because they're finished with their movement. Perfect. All right. Let's go ahead and see if we have maintain momentum. Hopefully we do because otherwise, like, the beach is open and we do not want that. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. Two. Uh, barely. We did it. So for our second impulse, uh, Americans are going to go ahead and activate the Seaborne Invasion Box. Let's go ahead and try to land. Well, let's just land an infantry. So all our 1D6. No modifiers. A four. So he lands fresh on the Black Beach. Perfect. Um, 
Let's go ahead and see if we maintain momentum. And we do. Again, just barely, but we do. So with our third impulse, let's go ahead and activate. Let's get some units over here on top side as well. At least a unit. Let's go ahead and try to land this uh, infantry here. All I have to do is check to see are there any uh, Japanese machine guns adjacent to top side. There are none. So we go ahead and no modifiers. Let's go ahead and roll. We also don't get that plus one anymore, though. That was only on the first uh, impulse. So a five. So we, he does land and remains fresh. Perfect. Let's see if we maintain momentum. Two, we, we lose it, so you know, I lost momentum. So the Japanese, now their first impulse. All right, so with their first impulse, they're going to go ahead and activate the Japanese hidden units box. Um, they're going to grab this infantry, this 444 infantry here. Let's see. Let's see. It's a Japanese player. What do you want? We defend against the Americans here. Kind of know what they're up to. They're starting to spread out a little bit. We don't like that. It's hard to attack them back, but we can certainly maybe prepare to for the uh, night phase at the very least. So what we'll do is let's go ahead and place our Japanese infantry here at this Morrison Hill. Um, maybe in preparation for a future night attack on the power plant. Maybe. May not be a bad idea. So, um, yeah, that'll work. Okay. All right, let's see if we uh, keep our momentum. And they do. With the second impulse to go ahead and activate Japanese hidden units box. Um, machine gun now. We just don't want to try to stop Black Beach topside. We can do either. Um, we do control all over the place. So what they're going to do. And by that by we have the Japanese. Their turn. So they're going to go ahead. They're going to place this machine gun here in Ramsey. Um, this will help defend against any more landings in topside. Alright. Let's see if they maintain momentum. Five, they do. So Japanese go again. Japanese hit Newman's box. Let's activate that bad boy. Let's place a machine gun. I'm gonna link to Hill. Now we have a fresh one there. So now, whether you, if the U.S. tries to land here or there, there's gonna be a, a minus one to their rolls. So, let's see if we maintain momentum. A three, um, we lose it. Bummer. All right. So reverts to the Americans. Americans first impulse. Go ahead and first impulse here. Um, hmm. So we've landed, we landed, we kind of, we're in a pretty good spot for, the, I'd say for the first turn, I think so anyway, um, but I'm not an expert on the game. Um, I just play for fun, if I get my butt kicked by myself. All right, so, oh, I should bombard there, I land more units, I guess. Yeah, just get units on the board, I guess. All right, so what we're going to do is, we're going to go ahead, we're going to use our uh, aircraft, we're going to do a bombardment impulse. We're going to target the machine gun right here. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. All right, let's give our roll. So we have a five, and they have a, remember, they use the train effect modifier, which is four. So it's a pretty even roll. At least I have a bonus of one. Oh, yeah, so we ended up with 12. They ended up with 14. So no effect um, on a bombardment. Obviously, there's no negative effect on the attacker. Just basically no effect. They survive the bombardment. Bomber. All right, um... I did get, um, I'm thinking about the looking at it, because there's three, I think because there's, or there's four, excuse me, so there's more than three units, we actually would have got a plus one, but that still was not enough to, to change it, so, bummer, still a bummer, oh well, um, let's see if we maintain momentum here, we need to go again, we do, so for our second impulse, the Americans are going to go ahead and, alright, so now what they're going to do is they're going to try to bombard this machine gun here in Ramsey. So with the uh, last aircraft, last bombardment marker, bombardment impulse, five versus Ramsey here is a plus two, that area. So five to two. And it is, we're targeting one Japanese unit in an area that only has one, so it's a minus one to our roll, technically. So, but as you can see, <laughs> they got a four, we got 10, 15. So yeah, he's dead. So we're going to go ahead and place him in the eliminated box over here. Let me get the units box. So Ramsey is cleared. Perfect. Uh, I was worried I'd just have to reduce him and or maybe spent and then might have to go ahead and attack him. But no, well, taken care of. So very cool. All right. Let's see if we can keep momentum. We do. So let's go ahead and get some more units on the board here. Um, 
we have not been able to take out him, but we have no other chance to. So basically, we're going to have to start landing under fire. It is what it is. So let's go ahead um, with this third impulse. We're going to activate the seaboard invasion box. Go ahead and try to move this uh, infantry and land him. Roll with a minus one. So three to two. It arrives and it flips men. That's a bummer. Okay. Um, all right. And then we will go ahead and see if we maintain momentum. Ah, we lose it. So Japanese impulse now. All right, with the first impulse, the Japanese are going to activate Japanese hidden units box. I'm going to go ahead and place this infantry here in Morrison Hill. I think they're going to try to... Don't tell the Americans, but I think they're going to try to attack the power plant um, at night. Yeah, that's what they're going to do. All right, let's see if they maintain their impulse. Oh, I want to roll the right die. That's how it works. you got to roll the right color die. All right, they do maintain their impulse. Or momentum, excuse me. So they get second impulse. Um, activate Japanese hidden units box. Go ahead and place this infantry. Um, well, technically, it's uh, least one of these other places too. So let's go ahead. Let's not. We don't want to get bogged down in one area only. Um, let's do right here the hospital. All right. Let's see if we maintain momentum. Six. So they do. I'm going to go ahead and activate the Japanese hidden units box for an assault, which is, I'm just going to place him, let's get to the hospital again. Yeah, let's go ahead and start piling up there. I think Morrison Hill is what we'll do. All right, see if we maintain momentum. A six, they do. I'll activate the hidden units box for an assault impulse. Let's place them. Place them here at Morrison Hill. Do we maintain impulse? A three, they do not. So, they had a good run, though. All right, so now it's the Americans' first impulse. First impulse, we're going to go ahead. They're going to start trying to land. Let's see. Keep trying to land, I think, over the beach there, right? Yeah. So let's go ahead and try to land this uh, American infantry here. Minus one. So four. So it does arrive fresh. Perfect. Let's see if we maintain momentum. They do. All right. Uh, activate C1 invasion box. Let's go ahead uh, for an assault impulse. Let's go ahead and activate or try to land him, the uh, mobile artillery. Minus one. Three, so it does arrive, and he is fresh. Perfect, again. Um, let's see here. Hmm. You technically try these artillery. You could try to get him, but I just that's eh, probably not worth it at this point. Like, I got one unit left to land, so. All right, let's see if we maintain our momentum, first of all. We do. So, Americans need to go again with their third impulse. Americans can go ahead and activate the Seaborne Invasion Box. Try to land that machine gun here. He's an S unit. Um, he rolls a one. Technically, slowest he can get, so he is eliminated. Bummer. Um, okay. All right. Um, let's see here. So, let's see if we maintain momentum. First of all, a four. We do. Awesome. All right. The Americans get to do a fourth impulse. Again, I think we seem to start. We seem to get the rest of our units on the board. What do you guys think? Yeah. Okay. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and uh, start landing more units here. So this uh, infantry here, we're going to try to land on top side, airborne landing. No machine, Japanese machine guns adjacent, so no modifiers. Let's go ahead and just roll our 1d6. <laughs> One, units eliminated. Well, that was a bummer. So, bummer there, guys. All right, let's go ahead and see if we maintain our impulse. Three, do not, or momentum, sorry. The reverse the Japanese. All right. So with their first impulse, they're going to go ahead and, uh, well, that's kind of like what we've been doing, to get some units on the board, right? So let's go ahead and activate the uh, Japanese hidden units box. Um, this uh, infantry here, Oop. go ahead and place him on Morrison Hill. I'll see if they maintain momentum. They do. So with the second impulse, activate hidden units box here. Um... I'm going to go ahead and place them here on the hill again, Morrison Hill. See if they maintain momentum. A two, they lose momentum. So, reverts the Americans. Americans have impulse. They're going to go ahead with their first impulse. Um, activate the airborne invasion box with this infantry. Oh, well, got to roll the green dice. Got to roll the green dice. All right, he lands perfectly. So, no issues there. 
Now I'll see if they maintain momentum. They do. So the second impulse, I can make the airborne invasion box again. Let's try to land this artillery unit. Perfect. Lands fresh. And then one more time here. Let's do another duplicated momentum. Oh, bummer. Do not. So lose momentum. Japanese gain it. So now they get to go and with their first impulse. Again, I think we want to keep keep our units coming on the, the map for a while here as the Japanese. Go ahead and activate Japanese hidden units box. Go ahead and place an infantry here at the hospital. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, nope, that'll be good there. Um, see if we can take momentum. They do. So the second impulse, I'll activate the hidden units box again. And go ahead and place this infantry here in Monja, just in case. Um, and then to go ahead and see if they can momentum. A three, they do. So with the third impulse, we'll activate the hidden units box. This machine gun. Um, I'll go ahead and put him in Ramsey. Again, even when he can try to target he try, when he trying to lands later, um, assuming he does. Um, okay. And then, yep, let's see if we maintain impulse. We do not lose or momentum. I keep saying impulse. Lose momentum. We do lose momentum here. Um, so now the Americans have it. So with their first impulse, they're going to go ahead and they're going to activate the airport invasion box. Try to land him. Now, because that machine gun is adjacent, there's going to be a minus one. It's a little bit of a bummer, but it's okay. Um, let's see. Six. Minus one is five. It still lands fresh, so no big deal there. Okay. Um, man, kind of a tough spot a little bit. So what I'm thinking is, first of all, let's see if we maintain momentum. Okay. We do. With our second impulse, the Americans are going to, like, they can see what's coming. They can see the writing on the wall here. There's going to be some resistance to their, uh, where they are. So, what they're going to do is go ahead and um, they're going to activate top side. And they're going to send... Uh, turns out what to do. All right, um, they're gonna send this American unit here. We're activating topside for an assault impulse. All right, so I think um, I'm gonna go ahead and move him to topside barracks. That's one, two, three power plant. And we'll, well, leave him there, but he's gonna flip over to spent. So we got to prop up power plant. We can tell that their Japanese are up to no good over here. Um, the next one, let's go ahead and move. This artillery, go ahead and move him here, here, and here. Another unit there. Um, I think we'll leave these guys here just because uh, we don't want to. I don't want to leave it, but I don't think I think it'll be fine. Don't you think? What do you guys think? Hmm. All right, let's go ahead. I don't know what we'll do. Let's go ahead and. We'll move this machine gun unit here and then here and then he'll stop here middle side so all right so now we've kind of reinforced our whole link up area because remember we had an extra victory point at the end of turn one if we can maintain a link up so that's what i would like to do um all right let's see if we maintain momentum a three we do so with our third impulse so we've landed all of our units that we have on turn one um we have some units over here on the beach still let's see should we use any of them yet what should we do with them? Um, we can go ahead and, hmm, I'm trying to think here. Things are looking pretty good. Um, certainly don't think there's anything bad over here. Um, go ahead and just activate, yeah, let's activate Black Beach here for an assault impulse. Uh, grab this infantry here, go ahead and here and then here and then he's gonna stop his movement there so we'll flip them over i think the rest of the units are just gonna stand strong here yeah that's what we're gonna do all right that'll work so um yeah all right um we'll go ahead and see if we maintain momentum when we do not we lose it although i think as the americans i think i'm basically gonna be done 
I have some fresh units left, but I think I'm going to leave them as is, and we're just going to stick with that. So we're probably going to start passing. Now the Japanese, though, it's on their first impulse. They have momentum now. So their first impulse, they're going to grab Gummies and units. Mox, activate that for an assault impulse and place this infantry. Um, place it here at the hospital barracks. So, yeah. We're going to do that, and then they will say maintain momentum. They do. So with their second impulse, activate hidden units box again. Take this. Eh, you know what? They're going to leave that guy there. You go ahead and place this infantry here at Ramsey. Um, yeah, that'll work. Perfect. Let's do that. Um, to the same impulse, or same same momentum, excuse me. They lose it. Reverts to the Americans. However, the Americans, I'm thinking, uh, yeah, we're just going to stand strong here. So stand pat. So, yep, so we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna pass. So, the Americans are gonna pass. So, it goes over to the Japanese first impulse. Um, so, their first impulse, Japanese will activate the hidden units box. We'll grab this infantry here, place them in Ramsey. Um, then, with their second impulse, see if they maintain momentum. They do. And go ahead and grab. Um, Activate this, the units box, grab this guy, place him here. So, all right. These Americans, it's a little sketchy right now. They're probably like, uh oh. I think they know what they're doing here. So, all right. Um, so, just looking at the board here, kind of think of my strategy here. As the Japanese, if they take momentum. They do not. Versus the Americans, however, the Americans are going to pass. So it's going to go back over to the Japanese. The Japanese with their first impulse. They're looking at the board. I think they like where they're at for the day. So I think they're going to pass as well. So with two passes, so Americans and now the Japanese have passed. Goes on to the next phase. Night phase. So it's now the night of February 16th. Um, on the night phase, uh, Japanese player begins with momentum here. Uh, up at impulse one. So, I'm gonna go ahead and with their first impulse, they're definitely gonna start doing some attacks here, or at least trying. So they're gonna activate um, uh, Morrison Hill here for an infiltration, infiltration impulse. And they're gonna try to send this Japanese unit across and infiltrate. So what you do, you have their infiltration table. It is upside down for both of us, uh, but that's okay. So read it upside down, I'm that talented. We'll go ahead and we can roll on that. Um, the only modifier would be if there's a fresh American unit in the destination area. However, as you can see, all of our American units are spent, so it's just going to be a straight die roll. A five, um, which infiltration succeeds, so he moves in here and remains fresh, which with him moving in here, it's now a contested area. We still maintain control, but it's contested, um, so we don't lose the victory point yet. But he has a opportunity, which he's going to take advantage of, to do a bonsai attack. So because he succeeded, three to six, um, he can do a bonsai attack, which is doubles his attack factor. So it goes from a four to an eight. So that's really nice. So he is going to attack. Um, as the Americans, we're gonna go ahead, it's an elite attacker as well, they're only attacker. As the Americans, let's go ahead and do, let's go ahead and use this infantry here as the defender. Go ahead and look at our uh, combat here. Um, so we attack, we have lead attacker, lead defender, the um, only has one unit, so it's just him. Uh, there's no bonus for attacking at night, no combined armor bonus, anything like that. So it's literally just going to be um, his eight, which well, is bad enough anyway for us, for the Americans. Um, as a defender, we would only look at the, if we had any fresh units helping us. We do not. It's just the one American. We do get the train effect modifier plus two, so we have a five. So we have an eight, we have a five. Let's roll. So they had eight, right? So they got a total of 13, and we had five, which we have 14, which means he is repulsed. We have one more attrition point, which, well, they only apply for defense because, or because we're defending. He is eliminated, so good for us. All right, perfect. But, oh, don't worry. Japanese aren't done yet, so it's going to be a long night for the Americans here on the island. So, all right, let's see if they maintain the impulse. They do. Um, they're going to go ahead and activate 
Morrison Hill again for another infiltration. And they're gonna send this infantry across uh, to power plant. Go ahead and roll on that old infiltration table over here. A six, so he succeeds. And he's gonna do a bonsai, bonsai charge, doubling his attack factor to eight. And we'll do the same deal. We'll defend with that same American unit for now with his three defense factor. Remember the plus two for the area. So we're at an eight and a five. Go ahead and roll it. Go out of there. So it counts. So their eight becomes what, 16? My five becomes 15. So there's one. Um, one attrition point. Yep, so they're, they're one over me. The difference is one. It's one attrition point. Um, we're going to go ahead. We'll just retreat this spent unit. Uh, and he's going to have to retreat to middle side. Judging based on... Yeah, because he, well, he can't retreat there or there. So yeah, he's going to retreat to middle side. Um, Alright. Japanese is going to flip over to spent. Um, but they have removed one of my units. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Now let's see if they maintain momentum. With a four, they do. With their third impulse, again, they're going to activate uh, Morrison Hill. They're going to go ahead and they're going to send in uh, this infantry here to attack. Infiltration impulse, I should say. What do we get on a roll? A five. Um, so he is successful, and he's going to do a bonsai charge, so his three becomes a six. I'm going to go ahead and defend with this three unit here, three infantry. Plus two for that is a five, so it's six versus five. All right, so they have a total of 12. We have 13. So he is repulsed. So he is eliminated. So, ooh, we're getting a little lucky here, maybe on our rolls. So, as the Americans, anyway, not as lucky as the Japanese. All right, see if they maintain momentum. They do. Um, so with their fourth impulse, let's see, I'll check something on my camera. Okay, perfect. Um, all right, so the Japanese with their fourth impulse are going to activate more uh, Morrison Hill again. They're going to send its infantry unit in. Infiltration. Well, this is, hey, that's that's what you do. You, the Americans attack during the day, Japanese attack at night. Kind of how the way it also happened historically. So, in fact, it's exactly how it happened historically. All right, roll a six. So good for them. Um, so he does. He is successful, and he's going to do a bonsai attack, doubling it to six. We're gonna use that American infantry here to defend with our five. So six versus five. So six, seven, so 10, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So they have one more than us. That's one attrition point we have to suffer. Um, we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna retreat this um, infantry unit to middle side here. So, all right. Um, so the Japanese unit is flipped over to spent. All right. Let's see if they maintain momentum. They do, actually. Roll a six, so they do. So they have their fifth impulse. They're going to activate Morrison Hill for the um, infiltration impulse and move them into uh, the power plant. It's their last guy they'll be able to move because cl uh, clearly a pillbox cannot move. That'd be something, huh? All right, so this infantry is going to go ahead. Go ahead and let's do our roll on our table over here. He's successful, and yes, he will do the bonsai charge. He will attack. Um, the Americans, I really ugh, I don't want to lose my tank. He only has a two. I like to keep him there. So let's go ahead, and we'll just defend with our artillery here. Uh, there's a one, but uh, it is what it is. So their three becomes a six. We have a one plus two for the terrain, so they're three. So six versus three. Not good for us. Not good for the Americans anyway. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten, three, ten. So it's a stalemate. Um, a stalemate, basically nothing happens. He doesn't get to stay there, but he's flipped over to spent. Um, and then our unit obviously doesn't have to shoot anything like that. So just, oop, stays like this. So, all right. Well, the Americans did a good job of holding off. There's a lot of Japanese units here, Morrison Hill, and it held all of them off. So because they um, maintain control of that, you know, it's still American control. Yes, it's contested. Now with the Japanese units there, but they do maintain control, so we don't have to remove the mark or anything like that. So, all right. I think the Japanese are looking at it right now thinking, uh-oh. Um, but what they are going to do, it's not done yet. Well, actually, they may be. Let's see. They should be probably after this roll. Yeah, okay. So they do lose um, momentum, so it goes to the Americans. 
Um, Americans have momentum. First impulse here. These are looking a little crazy. Uh, but at the same time, they can't. There's only so much they can do. The Americans, that is, to defend. Um, obviously, you can see that what the Japanese could do would be get attack from the hospital here. Um, they could attack the hospital barracks, I should say. They could attack from. Uh, right the Ramsey area here probably the most vulnerable is top side so as the Americans if you you know they can tell and it is an open you know, there's no fog of war in this game um, you can see as Americans if we could get some guys there but the only fresh shoots we have we have fresh shoot in top side which is nice and then we have a couple here uh, if we could get one of those over there maybe will you be able to make it let's see so I activated black beach and he went he could this infantry could move Oh, wait, they have a fresh machine gun. And when you move with a fresh machine gun, um, it takes two movement factors. So it would be enter a vacant area adjacent to a fresh enemy machine gun unit. It takes two. So it would be one, two, three, four. Oh, man. Could make it anyway. So this infantry unit, if I sent him, could only make it to this outside barracks. And then he'd be spent there. He would stop there. So. All right, we're just going to sit tight as the Americans. They don't have a lot of options at this point. They, uh, we kind of, you know, did as much maneuvering and as much as we could during the day. So now we're kind of limited at night. We just kind of have to take our take our lumps here. So, all right, we're going to go ahead and just pass. I just don't see a better option. Comment below if you see one. All right, so Japanese now, they have momentum. So with their first impulse, they definitely know what they're going to do. They're going to activate Ramsey, and they're going to go ahead and attack topside. Uh, or I should say, excuse me, they're going to do an infiltration impulse, um, activate Ramsey, and they're going to go ahead and try to send this infantry across and sneak attack topside. So let's go ahead and give ourselves a roll here on our old infiltration table we love over here. So a three, so it is successful. Um, so there's no minus. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. Minus one die roll modifier if the area has a fresh American unit. There's a fresh American unit. So that three becomes a two. Which means infiltration succeeds, unit is flip spent. So he does arrive in top side, but guess what? Wah wah. He doesn't get to do his attack. Sucks to be you. Alright, cool. Good for Americans. Not so good for the Japanese, because they're trying to cut this like I call it like supply line. It's not really a supply line, but cut that link out between uh, the beach and top side. So um, Japanese are looking. Uh, let's see, we maintain impulse or momentum, sorry. So maintain momentum, we do. So second impulse for the Japanese. Japanese are looking still top side probably the best. There's no way they're gonna take over the barracks or middle side or I don't think Black Beach either. It's really not a chance. They could try, but I just don't think it's even. No, it ain't gonna happen. No way. Um, now with the fresh units there, so the Japanese can go ahead. Um, they're gonna activate Ramsey with for an infiltration impulse. Let's go ahead and send this infantry here. They get our, their roll. Remember the minus one because we have a fresh unit. A four becomes a three, so it is successful. And yes, he will do a bonsai charge, which means he will attack the American unit there. Um, it's the only defender. So, go into our uh, combat. So he has a bonsai charge, so he's doubles attack factor, he's a six. We have a five defense, plus one, so total of six, so we're tied. And tie. Look at that. Look at that roll. That's crazy. All right, so that's a stalemate. Do you remember, stalemate means Yes, the Japanese unit gets to stay in topside. However, he's flip spent. Um, and I don't. Uh, excuse me, I checked the rules. I know, I hate when people check the rules on video, but let me just check quick because I don't. I think a stalemate. Uh, no effect on defenders' units. Yep. Okay. Alright, so American unit actually stays fresh, which is actually really nice. I almost thought for a second he would be flipped to spent, but nope, because it was a stalemate, he stays fresh. Good for the Americans. Alright, the Japanese here. And try to maintain momentum. They fail. However, like I said, the, the Americans there's really not really not seeing a whole lot they can do slash want to do. So they're just gonna sit tight. So they're gonna pass. It's pretty much this is the night night turn. This turn anyway is gonna be all Japanese actions. So alright, with their first impulse, they're gonna go ahead and activate Ramsey for an infiltration impulse. They're gonna send Another old infantry across the border. So with a minus one on their roll. A five, so they're good. He succeeds. 
He's do a bonsai charge. His three becomes a six attack. I'm gonna go ahead and defend with my infantry here, and we'll have a six as well. So straight roll. Here we go. All right, I I mean I crush him here. Obviously, um, I finish with six over him, so he is eliminated. Placed in the eliminated units box. Um. All right, and so they will go ahead see if they maintain momentum. They do. Their second impulse, the Japanese, they're going to go for broke at this point. They're going to send the machine gun unit with an infiltration. Minus one to the roll. He succeeds, and he's going to attack. Um, he's going to bonsai charge. His two becomes a four. Ooh. Um, so with a four attack um, against my five defense, actually six defense, they have a two, uh, two number handicap. Let's see what happens. All right, so five, six, seven, uh, four, five, six, seven. So he he's repulsed, so he gets eliminated. So all right, let's see if they maintain momentum. Five, they do. So with their third impulse, that didn't go too well, did it? Not not for the Japanese anyway. The Americans they held on, but all right, I'm looking. I'm not seeing a whole lot they can do at this point. Um, uh, because they kind of want to maintain the hospital, so I don't want to send those units. Not really. Probably should have kept a couple more units in there. Or should have kept some units in there, but... Um, here's one idea. Let's go ahead. We're going to activate... Japanese are going to activate Monja for a uh, infiltration impulse. We'll go ahead and send this infantry here into Cheney area. Go ahead and give us a roll on our table. Six. He's successful. And he is um, going to do a bonsai charge. So that his four becomes an eight attack factor. We're going to defend with that infantry there. Chaining has a plus two. So we have an eight. We have a three, four, five. So eight versus five. So our eight becomes, what is that? 12, 15. Our five becomes a 13. So two, uh, two more. Ooh, so um, we could retreat him. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and eliminate him. Yeah, we're just going to eliminate him. So place him in the eliminator box, and this Japanese infantry stops here. So, all right. Um, well, I think we have potential to kind of whoop on the Americans over there a little bit. So let's see if they maintain their impulse. Let's do that, and then we'll finish up, I think. All right, so a three. Um, they fail. <laughs> you lose momentum. So now the Americans have momentum. Now the Americans kind of see the running on the wall, but at the same time, you can't, I mean, you can't give up top side. So, with the, the last unit here. So, I have to just stand strong here. So, all right, they're going to go ahead and just pass. Now, with the Japanese, with their first impulse, the Japanese are going to go ahead and activate uh, Cheney Ravine. They're going to activate this infantry here. Let's send him across um, into uh, Cheney for a um, for an infiltration impulse. Excuse me. Activate infiltration impulse. Move him over. Give us a roll on that. A six easily does it. Uh, we go ahead and attack with double because he's bonsai charge. So that's an eight. We'll defend with our engineer here with a one. <laughs> so eight versus one plus two for the terrain. So eight versus three. Let's see what we get. Oh, wait a second here. So they had eight plus six. It's 14. And what do we have? One, two, three, three, seven. 13. And what they have? 14. 13 to 14. Oh, okay. So we still are down by one. Okay. Well, we'll just retreat. Our engineer will go ahead and just retreat to uh, top side here. So, um, and then their infantry is flipped over. All right. I'm going to go ahead and see if they maintain momentum here. They do. I think they're going to sit strong, though. Here, I think they, they did a good job. Now, okay job. They pushed some American units back, but they were not able to really stop that link up, unfortunately, for the Japanese. So, all right, we're going to go ahead. We'll call it there for the night phase anyway. So they'll pass as well. Um, since the Americans already passed, now they pass just two passes in a row, which means it ends. So we go on to the uh, night phase is ended. So we're going to the reorganization phase. Um, so the uh, Japanese go ahead and... Okay, so non-S units, we're going to go ahead and look at our eliminated box here. 
the Japanese have two S units and three non-S units. So what they're going to do is they're going to go ahead and reorganize this 4-4 uh, four -four infantry, 4-4-4 four -four -four infantry, place him in the Japanese Hindu's box, which because they do that, they have to eliminate another one of their non-S units, so they're going to go ahead and just eliminate. And by eliminate, I mean remove from play. So remove him from play. Um, Japanese now have no other non-S units, so they can't do any more reorganization. They just have one. You need at least two, because one to go on the board, one to eliminate. Um, now, so they'll be Americans. The Americans have two non-S units. So they're going to go ahead and, yep, they're going to grab one of them, um, which will remove the other one from the game. Um, and they're going to grab him. And, um, okay, so it goes on the uh, C1 invasion box. That's right. I checked the rules for a second there. Okay. Um, now we finish up. That was the reorganization phase. Um, so now we would go on to the end phase. Now we look at for you know, automatic victory. There are no automatic victories at all in this uh, the first turn here. Um, and we get remember we get our uh, link up here at the end. So the Americans because they have a link between American control between topside and the Black Beach here. That's an extra victory point as well because we earned on the first turn. So now we're at three victory points. So that's awesome. Um, in the last game I played, I lost to the Americans on at the end of turn two because I only had one victory point. So already at three, already kicking my butt in my previous game. Um, perfect. So, all right, everyone gets flipped over to their fresh side. I know the uh, one of the more exciting parts of watching a video is watching um, things like manipulating counters. I mean, I find, I find like when I watch videos, you know, board games uh, being played. I mean, if you're, someone's talking during it, I mean, assuming, you know, you're not annoyed with them, um, it's a little more tolerable. That may be the trick I'm using right now, where I'm trying to kind of talk while I'm doing this as I flip these over. And thankfully, it's not like there's, you know, 200 counters on the map. I mean, this is the game where there's, what, there's like, I don't know, 60 counters in the whole game, which is awesome. Like, I love games like this. So, all right, so we got them all flipped over. Um, impulse goes down to one here, and it's the Americans. Go ahead and flip it. We advance the turn marker and we flip it today. It's now February 17th. Turn two, February 17th, 1945. All of our uh, bombardment markers, naval and two air, get flipped over to their uh, unused side. All right, and that is the end of turn one. Um, we go ahead and at the beginning of turn two, we'll just kind of play at the beginning of turn two. Super easy, do the reinforcement phase before the day phase. We didn't do the reinforcement phase because there was no reinforcements to do on turn one, but on turn two, Go ahead. Um, what we do is we look at our units over here that have the uh, have the S. Remember, uh, get roll for both of them. Uh, oh, oh boy! All right, so Japanese first, so that's a uh, seven. Divided by two is three and a half. Round up, so four. So they can return four units to play. They only have one S unit. Oh, excuse me. They have two. Grab the wrong color here. Um, they have two. They're gonna go ahead and uh, they get put in the Union box. Whew. Almost sneeze right there, trying to sneeze on you guys while I'm filming. All right, and now the Americans. Oh, I rolled a three, which rounded down one and a half, or excuse me, halved one and a half, rounded it up it's two. They only have one unit anyway, so go ahead, and I believe he gets placed. Um, let's see reinforcement. Oh, he gets placed any. Yeah, that's right. Any area that's American controlled. That's awesome. I want that. All right, let's go ahead. Yeah, let's go ahead and put him in uh, here. He'll join middle side um, for their future attack. So. All right, um, let me go ahead and our uh, February 17th, you can see our reinforcements, our additional reinforcements. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and just place half of them in the Seaborn Invasion box, and the other half I'm gonna put over here on the Airborne Invasion box. I like to have uh, options on where I'm gonna invade from. So, all right, that was turn one and the very beginning of turn two of Return to the Rock Corridor 1945. Um, hopefully between my unbagging and my uh, tutorial and this, you know, turn one playthrough and it was only turn one but as you can see you know it took a little while it takes longer on the turn one the other turns will go a lot faster because there's not as many units of the whole like invading there's some here and then even in the future there's even less because you don't even have these reinforcements so um, it starts getting to a real battle of attrition real battle of you know back and forth out on here i still think the game works great as solitaire um 
just because of that momentum thing. You, you saw a time where I was like, ooh, I got a plan. I could, you could tell I was going to do something. And next thing you know, it switch. Oh, no, Japanese impulse. Or, oh, no, Japanese lose it. And, and it becomes the American's momentum. So um, you get the idea. So hopefully you like this video. Please comment below. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, I've noticed the vast majority of people who watch my videos are not subscribed. Um, I assume, based on the comments, a lot of you guys keep coming back because you enjoy the content, which I surely appreciate. Leave a comment below and let me know any other games you want. We have plenty more in the pipeline coming. Do not worry about that. Uh, but otherwise, until next time, see ya.